How many times do I have to say it? I'm just trying to make sure your testimony is clear. Well, if it can't be any clearer, then I've never taken drugs. Lance Armstrong's years of denial came to a dramatic end Thursday night with his admission to Oprah Winfrey that he had doped his way to all seven of his Tour de France victories. Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. You're suing people and you know that they're telling the truth. What is that? It's, uh, it's, a, it's a major flaw and it's a guy who expected to get whatever he wanted and to control every outcome. Uh, and um, it's inexcusable. And that's the, that the, when I say that there are people that will hear this and will never forgive me, I understand that. Peter Flax is the editor in chief of Bicycling Magazine and joins us by Skype uh, from New York. Uh, good to be with you, Peter. Good to be here. Uh, to outsiders like myself, it seemed like a pretty unequivocal admission. He said he did it. He said he did it through all seven tours. Uh, but I know you tweeted last night, uh, being 78% honest is not good enough. So I wonder what you wanted to hear from him that you didn't. Yeah, I mean, the biggest one for me is his claim that his comeback in 2009 and 2010 was clean. And clearly he has a motive here. He wants to get back into uh, elite triathlon and the way the statute of limitation rules are set, that if he could somehow get governing bodies to sign off to this idea that he only used performance-enhancing drugs till 2005 would really make it easier for him to return to sport. Um, unfortunately for him, there's a lot of uh, blood passport and other data of those tours, and I just think it's not, it's not true, and I think he, he knows that as well. It's a calculated move. Uh, based on your tweets last night, I'm guessing another uh, point on your list would be this whole hospital incident and his uh, shyness in admitting to that. Uh, for people that don't know, the, the, uh, this teammate of, of Lance's, Frankie Andreo, and his wife Betsy were in the hospital room um, where just before he was about to start chemo, doctors you know, reputedly asked Lance if he had used performance en enhancing drugs and reputedly, according to numerous people in the room, he then ran through this list of all the drugs he admitted last night. And he was given an opportunity on Oprah last night to finally just come clean. And he just gave this strange, uh, you know, waffling answer that he had talked to Betsy on the phone and he, you know, he didn't want to talk about it on the air. That, you know, Lance destroyed these people's lives for a decade. Frankie was a, you know, a, a, a teammate of Lance, and Lance really played a large role in driving him out of the sport and, and ruining his professional career. And, you know, he maligned Betsy repeatedly in the last decade. So for people that follow this soap opera, if you'll call it that, you know, that was a, a big flub in my opinion. Lance suggested that this cocktail of illegal stuff that he did for years was par for the course and described it as a level playing field because everyone was doing it. Was it a level playing field? That's not the term I'd use. I think it's factually correct to say that almost all of his competitors were also using some of the same substances. But I think the U.S. Postal Team was on the leading edge um, in terms of the doctors and techniques they were using. And then also it's worth noting that um, you know, in a lot of ways in that era, the Tour de France became a measuring stick, perhaps, of who, whose bodies react, react best to these drugs. And, mm. and that, um, you know, before he, he had cancer and before he started this regimen, Lance had never shown himself to be someone who could win a race like the Tour de France. And, and, and so, you know, I think it's quite likely that he also was just a, had his body had a really good reaction to EPO, the, the drug of choice back then. Uh, last thing, we've seen this coming for at least days, and some would say longer, uh, but I wonder in the last 12 or so hours since it aired last night, what the response in the community has been. Has there been any shift from where it was before it aired Thursday evening? So I, I think that after people actually watched the episode, given that they knew the bombshell already, most people were disappointed, feeling like he was more calculated and less empathetic than they thought he would be and and you know my guess is that in the long term this is a, a really good first step for Lance that you know it's going to take a couple of years of 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 him you know laying himself down to really uh, build the bridges he needs to but right today it looks 
it looked bad. It, like I think the cycling community just felt like yes it, no. you know, they it's want him to go away because it, it didn't feel um, satisfying or fully honest. Hey, Peter, thanks a lot. Good to be here.